Hey family, welcome to Ohana House. I'm Star. And in today's video, I am gonna take you through the process of us getting our main floor painted. So we moved into a new construction home last year. And although it was new construction, we did not get a chance to choose the paint colors because our home was almost finished once we put in an offer on it. Our entire house was painted Knitting Needles by Sharon Williams, which is a very cool gray color. Sometimes gray can come off very cold and sterile, and we wanted our home to feel bright and sunny and warm. So we thought that it was best that we change the paint color, although we knew that it would be a big undertaking. On top of that, our dining room was painted a very dark, gray color, which I'm not really sure. I know it's a Sharon Williams paint. I can't remember what the paint color is off the top of my head, but our dining room was a very dark gray. And because our dining room is open concept to our entryway, it also made our entryway feel very dark as well. So to brighten up our entryway, we did board and batting walls. And if you haven't seen that video already, I'll leave a link to that in the description. I'll also leave it in the corner as well so you can see how that turned out. And we also wanted to lighten up the dining room as well. Also, we had the dark gray that is in the dining room on the backs of our built-in bookshelves in our living room. So we knew that we wanted to brighten up the bookshelves as well so that the items that we place, the decor pieces that we place on our bookshelves would not have such a dark backdrop because sometimes if the items that we put on our bookshelf wasn't like super light, it would kind of get sucked into the darkness, into the shadows of the bookshelf. So we didn't like that and we knew that we wanted to brighten up everything. Okay, so to choose our paint color, I decided to hire a color consultant. And a color consultant is essentially a, a paint color expert who can come in your home, or you can also do it virtually, where they look at all of your fixtures, all of your, like, your floors, they look at your cabinets and your countertops, your tiles, and also your furniture pieces, your textiles, and help you choose a paint color that works well with all of the undertones and all of the colors, all of the textures in your home. Now we decided to do this because since we were painting the entire first floor of our home, which is almost our entire house, we did not want to choose the wrong color, hate it, knowing that we would have ended up spending a lot of money on paint and a lot of money on labor. So we wanted to make the right paint choice the first time. So we decided to hire a color consultant. Even if you choose not to hire a color consultant, still take the practice of looking at all of the fixtures, all of the color tones, the undertones in your home, taking those into consideration before choosing a paint color. Make sure you bring samples back home. Um, the samples on the car, but also you can get small paint samples from the paint store as well and hold it up against different areas in your home, hold it up against your floors, hold it up against your fabrics, hold it up against um, existing walls, cabinetry, finishes, so that you can see how it looks against different color tones to make sure that your home will feel cohesive once your house is painted. Some paint brands actually offer color consultants like Sherwin Williams has a color consultant, or you can hire an independent color consultant that can also be interior designer. Some interior designers offer color consultations as one of their services and you can find one near you or again you can find one virtually online so to brighten up the space we knew we wanted to go with a warmer color so we were thinking a warm white or very light beige so with the color consultant we narrowed it down to two colors we narrowed it down to white dove by benjamin moore and olympic mountains by benjamin moore so i ended up going to benjamin moore near me and getting samples of those two paint colors I placed them at different places around the first floor of our home. So I put the sample of paint on different walls in the living room, on the wall opposite the windows, and also on the wall with the windows that would be kind of shadowed. I also put it next to the brick fireplace that has a lot of red, brown, warm undertones with it. And I also placed it in shadowy corners to see how it would look in the corner that 
didn't get much light, how the shadows would look, would it make it look dingy. I wanted to pick up on how it would look in different spaces and different rooms that have different lighting as well. So between White Dove and Olympic Mountains, I ended up going with Olympic Mountains because White Dove felt a little too white, too sterile, and Olympic Mountains gave me the warmth and the brightness that I wanted. And it, it also gave some color and some contrast. Because we have white cabinets, white built-in shelving, white wall trim with our wainscoting in our dining room, and now our white board and batten feature wall in our entryway, we had a lot of white trim and white fixtures. And I wanted to choose a color that would contrast the white but still be bright so I chose Olympic Mountains because it was a brighter warmer beige color and that's the color that I chose for the entire downstairs and my master bedroom for the back of the bookshelves I actually chose one stop darker which is called Alaskan Skies by Benjamin Moore as well and so for labor we decided to hire painters we like to DIY some things around the house but for painting our entire first floor of our home, we did not want to take the chance to DIY it. Of course, we wanted everything to look professional, to look neat, and because we just didn't want to have to go through the labor of painting everything ourselves. We also have like these beams in the living room and the dining room. We would have to get up and get the beams and get over top of the cabinets and all of the nooks and crannies. And we didn't want to have to do that. So we decided to hire painters who came and painted the first floor of our home and also our master bedroom. It took them about two and a half days to complete the project with two painters. Here are some clips of how it turned out. The biggest difference to me is in the dining room. The dining room looks so much brighter. The entryway looks so much brighter with the lighter paint color, the warmer paint color. I enjoy it. The walls look really good with direct sunlight. It just makes it feel very sunny in here. So that is uh, how we painted the first floor of our home. We have some more videos coming for you because we are still doing a lot of projects around our house. We are working to complete our home. We've been here a year now and we, our home is still not complete, but it will hopefully be near completion soon. So continue to follow along, subscribe. As we complete the projects around our house, you will see those. So for more home inspiration and home decor videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel below. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Did you like the gray better? Do you like the beige better? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe, like this video if you like it. And until next time, love star.